There is a huge difference between passive reading skills and active speaking skills. Most students can read quite well. We see on this paper two texts and I think that most people will be able to understand passively the meaning of these texts. Maybe there are some expressions that are difficult. Maybe sometimes the meaning isn't so clear. But the idea of reading and getting some kind of comprehension, that is, that is getting some meaning from the text into your head, is not that difficult for most people. The problem is, once you can't see the text, can you reproduce the text? And I don't mean memorize the text, I mean take the meanings that, are, that you have in your head and then using your own words, explain those meanings to another person. This is a very different and a very difficult skill compared with passive reading. So, the active speaking skills involve, of course, at the base you need to have the comprehension. That means that you need to know what the words mean. You need to know how the words come together to create meaning, that is grammar. And then you need to be able to change that, not into your native language, but into another form, into other words which allow you to explain the meaning of the text using language that you already can use, and then express the meaning of the text to another person. That's actually quite difficult. Now, if your experience of learning English is mainly through reading or other passive skills, that is, taking information in and passing tests that test if you recognise information, then you'll never practice the really important skills of producing language. That's what we will do in this term. So, we had this idea of two readings, reading number one and reading number two. Half the class will read either text one or text two. You won't read both. You will work through with a partner and you will make sure that you comprehend the meaning of the text. You will get some time to prepare, during which maybe you'll take notes or maybe you won't take notes, but you will find that in each text is based on a theme and there is a central question in the text. And there are always two main points made by the first speaker about this question and two main points made by the second speaker. You will find these four points in the text and then you will prepare a way of explaining the overall theme, the overall question and then the four points in the text to someone else. At the same time, the other half of the class will be doing reading number two and they will be looking at their overall theme and they will be looking for two points from the first speaker and the two points from the second speaker. And then, after all of that passive comprehension is finished, then the people who read text 1 will explain the text to the people who read text 2. And then the people who read text 2 will explain their text to the people who read text 1. Now, this is a very simple idea. And this simple idea is very powerful because it gives you the necessary practice. It helps you become fluent in speaking. You've practiced so much of your English training just developing passive skills. You're very good at passive skills. You're not so good at active speaking. And that's the point of this Taking Issue book. And that's what we'll do in this term. It will be challenging, but you will get better. And by the end of the term, you will be much more able to express your meanings about these texts, for one thing, but also you'll become much more confident and much more fluent in expressing your own ideas. So that's the idea for your class. Let's have fun and become great English speakers.